In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an electronic circuit to turn on and off. The load depends on the temperature. It could be used for furnace or something like that. I'm using a thermocouple to sense in the temperature. Thermocouple is a temperature sensor that made by two different metals joined together at the end. When you expose it to high temperature, it starts to generate a few millivolts of voltage. The value of this voltage can be translated to exact value of the temperature by using a microcontroller. However, in this project, we don't need to know the exact value of the temperature, but we want to know if the furnace is hot enough or not. This is my circuit. I'm using an op amp as a comparator. A reference voltage is connected to the inverting input of the op amp. This reference voltage is coming from forward bias voltage of the silicon diode which is something around 0.6 volt. However, this reference voltage can be adjusted by using a potentiometer as a resistive voltage divider. The thermocouple is connected to the non-inverting input of the op-amp. When the thermocouple exposed to heat, it starts to produce some voltages. In that case, the voltage on non-inverting input will be higher than the voltage of inverting input. So the op-amp activates the transistor and relay and the relay switched off the furnace. I convert this circuit to PCB and order it from PCBWay.com. After a few weeks, I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. I'm using this incandescent lamp in the place of the furnace in this presentation. This 12 volt power supply running the circuit itself, and I connect the light bulb to the mains voltage. As you can see here, when the thermocouple exposed to high temperature, the circuit turns off the load. The maximum current of the load could be 10 amps. You can adjust the sensitivity of this circuit by using this potentiometer. You have to use this op amp CA3140 because it has high gain when no feedback used. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.